Psalms chapter 63, verse 8. My soul followeth, followeth hard after thee. My right, thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go down into the lower parts of the earth. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, rightfully so. Um, shalom to the Aki and pushing the word with sincerity and truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. What is to come? Race wars, concentration camps, famine, thermonuclear fire, the RFID trip, which is the mark of the beast. Simultaneously, the the, the, the the chariots of the Lord is going to lift up the whole full elect while the missiles are being shot off. Simultaneously, the, 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 the laser beams from the chariots of the Lord are going to be zapping people on the face of the earth. Several parts will get destroyed with missiles, but America is going to be fully destroyed with 200 million missiles. Okay? That's rightfully so in the scriptures. Does say the Bible, does say Yahweh Shemel Shah. Uh, yeah, you know, it was like a epic war going on this week, and on through the spirit, we're going to know how it's going to get, you know, and it ain't easy being in this world if you're a righteous person, you know, if you try to do the right thing and they see you know you're doing the right thing, it's not easy, they ain't going to let it be easy for you. But you got you got something special protecting you, which is Yahweh Shemel Shah. If you part, if you if you roll for a leg, he will protect you. You know, he might whoop you a couple of times. You know, might put you on the floor a couple of times, but you got to get up and keep going. You know what I mean? All right, my soul follows hard after thee. Thy right hand. Uphold it for me. Yeah. The right hand is Yahweh, Yahweh Shah of Yahweh. You know? And he uphold those that are righteous. He take he protects them. Put him to run through the ringer because we're gonna be scarcely saved. If I brought this out one of those men, but we're gonna be scarcely saved. The whole flag gonna be scarcely saved. Um I heard apostle one of the apostles say, um, that fire gonna be on that ass. <laughs> and you know that's the that's the affliction that's the hard things you the things you gotta go through you know okay um just going through some scriptures. Uh, this is Psalm chapter 37, verse 24. Though he fall, he should not be utterly cast down. But like I said, see? You're going to go through things. Though he fall, he should not utterly be cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. That's right. With his right hand. Let's go up a verse. Uh, Psalm 37, verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delighteth in his ways. That's right. Yeah, I wish you should like delight in your ways. If you worship in the Lord, you know, oh, man. You're going to go through it, man. You're going to go through things. And it's going to be how I should not shout. That's going um, to run you to the ring. He wants you to be pure. Cause this world is full of wickedness, and you you are still if you're in this world, you still got wickedness on you. Cause we all fall short of the glory, right? But He's purifying us, and that's the beautiful part. Psalm, let's read those two verses again. Psalm chapter thirty-seven, verse twenty-three: The steps of a good man are ordered by Yahweh Shemuel Shah, and He delighteth in His ways, right? The Lord delighteth in your ways. Though he fall, 
he should not be cast down. He should not utterly be cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. That's right. The Lord holds you up. You know, the Lord keeps you stable. And he puts you through what you got to put, what you can handle. That's the beautiful part. You know? And we are here to get out of here through the spirit of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. This is our captivity because we did wrong. And so we are here to um, face, we are here in prison until our Redeemer come. Okay? That's right. Rightfully so. You know? I was just going through some scriptures, you know, just you know, sh you know, dwelling on certain things and mind um meditating. So we're gonna go back to this scripture where I got those precepts from. Uh, it says, um, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power, Yahabashim al Shah. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. That's right. And that's Yahweh Shah. He's doing those things. They're doing those things. Yahweh is sending his son back, Yahweh Shah, to redeem us. And the angels of righteousness is around us. But we're going to still have to go through things. But he said, don't be dismayed. Don't be all nervous. You know? Keep doing what he tell you to do. You know? Man. All right, look at the next verse. We're going to bring it home with this next one. Look what it says. It says, Behold, all day, behold, all day that were increased against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. That is so plain and straight to the point. And with that, I will give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakwadash, the Wadi Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, to deserve double honors, rightfully so. And Shalom to you, Aki, and pushing the word of sincerity and truth. And being faith-based. Shalom.